All right, Orlando, baby. We are here at the Mills 50 chain. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been here. And I uh, just thought, why not? Why not go here? Uh, you know, it's a cool spot. There's uh, We're dropping in at Formosa. There's a little park. And then you paddle through there. You end up in Lake Rowena. And then you paddle through there. And you end up in Lake Sioux. So it's a chain of three lakes. Each one's very pretty different from the last one. So I appreciate that, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, summertime. Fishing's tough. I have two spinning rods. We're going to throw some small, you know, Got the 2.8 KTEX, that kind of size swim bait. Hover stroll. We got some 5-inch Senkos, you know, some 5-inch Sakamata Sheds. Kind of all the major players for whatever I need to slow down and hopefully get some bites. Um, probably going to end up in Lake Sioux mostly. Uh, I think my best bet for getting bit is just, that's the spots, the biggest of the three lakes. Uh, usually has the clearer water of the three lakes and it generally has more grass because it's bigger and it's just got way more grass than the other two um rowena fish is tough it's like pea green soup and you know sometimes you'll catch a few under docks and stuff so i'll probably pitch under a few docks just to test that theory summertime you know fish uh, the water's up enough where the fish hopefully should be kind of under some docks you know down here in florida all our docks are they're pretty shallow so you kind of need a lot of rain before they'll really start to get under those you know those front edges of the docks because they just it's not that you know it's just not that deep uh until we start getting a lot of our our summer rains and stuff and uh so anyways starting here in formosa i see some little bait flicker in the surface that's why i thought all right we're going small swim baits um We'll get out here and get started. My goal for today would be to catch a fish in each of the three lakes. I don't know if I've ever done that before. I, I feel like I have, but I, I, I do not recall. Um, so that's the goal for the day. We'll see how this goes. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, dang it. Come on, man. Oh, shit. Here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's another one. Little guy. We were seeing some feeding activity over here. And they kind of spring up, man, and they they'll you'll see a little flurry of feeding activity and then they'll kind of poke back down. But there was kind of sustained activity. I was noticing every now and then they were still popping off. There we go. There we go. We still got some hanging out right here. There we go. A hair bigger than the first one. Like I said, this is what happens when you get caught up doing this, <laughs> chasing them around. It's, you know, there's schools of bass about this size, busting little bait. Like, it can be fun if you get right on top of them at the right moments. Uh, but it's the bites are really few and far between for as much as you think you're gonna get bit, you really don't. So I'm gonna follow my own advice and stop chasing these little feeding frenzies around. It's tough to do, you know, the bite's tough in summertime, you wanna catch a few fish, like it's, but they're just scattered, you know, this is a, a school of roaming bass, different pods of them, the bait is everywhere and we're in the middle of the lake, so there's no telling where they're gonna pop up next. Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that little dink. Made our way to Lake Rowena. I said we were going to flip some few docks. Check them out. There we go. So far we're filling our quota. If we get one in Lake Sioux, that's a, you know, that's a good day. Little guy, man, just pitching a five inch Senko. Pretty pretty decent bit under the dock. He was kind of like on this little section where there's kind of grass outlining it. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Does he have it? There we go. There we go. That feels a little better. That feels a little better. 
Heck yeah, that was in front of the dock. We moved to the next dock over. Man, I kind of called my shot today as far as, you know, we've been getting plenty of rain and stuff, water's coming up that these fish might be hanging out under the docks. This guy we caught on the front end, that's our, that's our best one of the day so far, there we go. We got plenty of docks on Rowena to fish as well. So if this is a definitive pattern, you know, it's a good thing. Is that another bite? Right in the edge of these pads. There it is. My line's going off. Dude, that feels pretty decent too. Oh, guy, that feels good. Oh, it's got me jammed up in these pads. Oh, dude, I think I lost it. I freaking lost it, dude. That was a nice one. God, dude. He's got me wrapped. Oh, dude, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. God, I didn't even notice I was getting bit. He's got me wrapped up all under this dock. Can we undo him? Come on, buddy. Oh, shit. I snapped him off. Man, that guy wrapped me around the post. Jesus, that was another decent one. There we go. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right on the front edge of those lily pads. We're actually gonna land this guy. There we go. All right, dude, shallow cover, baby. That's been the deal. Here we go, here we go. I thought I was getting bit under there. Come on, get out of that dock. There we go. Another one right under the dock. That's a nice one. Dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. The bite, they are nibbling like some of the bites I haven't even really felt. Oh, there we go. There's a decent one, dude. Hell yeah, man. This guy was all up under that dock. There we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, that feels good. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, dude, it's got me wrapped. No, come on, come on, come on. Come on out of there, come on out of there. Dang it, dude, shoot. Fuck, these fish are wrapping me all up, dude. Ah, fuck me, dude. God, this is a good one. Oh, it's pulling, it's pulling. Damn it. Oh, it's right there. I see it. That's a good one. It's right on the other side of that cross member. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Damn, dude. Am I gonna break this fucker off? No, oh, we got her out. We got her out, dude. We got her out. That's a good one. That's a good one. Holy shnikes, dude. That, I can't <laughs> Holy cow, guy. That is a nice one, dude. That's a tank. That's a good fish right there. This, this gal had me wrapped around the ladder, the cross member, the post, the whole nine. <sighs> we managed to get lucky, finally. Oh, God, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's a fish on, dude. I gotta get under this dock. Ooh. Oh, he came out, he came out, he came out. We got him out. Look at that guy. Holy cow, man, that guy was yanking, dude. There we go, there we go. There's another one. Boom. There we go, there we go. Come on out. Oh, there we go, get out of there. 
Hell yeah, dude. Another one hanging out right under the dock, baby. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's a decent one. I mean, Lake Rowena is showing out today. Called my shot this morning. I said we'd fish around some docks in Rowena and probably quickly make our way to Lake Sioux, but we've been hanging out here. Got on this nice dock pattern. Just, why not? There we go. There we go. Booyah. Kind of in the canal. It takes you right into Lake Sioux, but we're on the Lake Sioux side, so booyah. There's our Lake Sioux bass. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hanging right under that grass mat. Here's another bite. There we go. There's another one right up at that grass mat. There we go. We got him. <laughs> we'll take a whole load of grass with him. With the little guy. Just chilling underneath that. This matted uh, eelgrass. grass. 